All right, and we're back. We can officially do the end game stuff. Yay! Um, should I just? No, I can't do it. I can't bring it on myself. You know, I'm just too nice. Kinda. Maybe. I'm thinking about it. No, I'll do Seath. Uh, why not? Because I... Well, I don't know. Maybe. Nah. Four kings. Well, at least we'll set up four kings because we can get a... Ascended fire stuff from doing this. You'll see what I'm talking about. You'll see. I had to think... No. 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 We'll do... We'll do... We'll do the setup for it, I guess. Because we can also get the... The ember as well while we're down there. I want to get as much stuff as I can prepped. At this point. So... That's how a pro does it. New Londo Ruins. I'm going to unlock the area that has the dark wraiths in it. And, uh... Yeah, this part is an ass to actually try and do properly. I hate doing this part. I'm really bad at this. Um, we'll do it the way I do it. Uh, which is not great. Um... Trying to think, can you damage ghosts without this? I don't remember. It's been so many moons. I hurt you. No. Okay, that's all I needed to check. <laughs> I was like, it's literally been so long. I don't remember if you can hurt ghosts with fucking magic or not. Which is bullshit. I don't know why you can't. But all right. Fair enough. So if you're doing this in a speed runway. What you'd normally do is you come down here and you'd kill uh, Oswald, I think is his name, right? Or Osmond or whatever. He's the uh, the dude that's like, you can't go down there. This is bad here, but have the key anyways. Um, he basically can be shot with a bow and arrow. Um, I think you can do with fire bombs. I'm not really sure on that. Don't quote me. I know arrow for sure. And you hit him from over here, you can see him standing up there. Um, it's a pretty cheesy way of doing it, but it works really well, and that's why you do it in a speedrun. So, I could probably do this. Uh, no, I, I have such bad damage. There's no way in hell I can do four kings with this low of damage right now. It'll end so miserably, it's not even a joke. Um, but this is why you do that, is because you skip all this shit in this room. And you essentially go to the right of where I just walked in. And you'll, uh, you'll go, you'll have a straight shot every single time guaranteed at fighting four kings without having to go through the Darkstalker area. Or the Dark Wraith, sorry. It's a really nice, oh cool, that's actually a pretty rare drop. Um, it's a really handy thing to do if you want to save time. Also, these ghosts, the female ghosts, they have a, a baby with them if you ever do that. Bet you didn't know that. Alright, so this part sucks. This is why I hate doing it. It's not hard, it's just irritating. But these ghosts in, like, New Game Plus, they don't fuck around, dude. They're just nasty. Okay, I think there's one more. I'm a strong man, I can take one more. But now we're gonna get the hand axe to plus 10. Is that right now? We'll do plus 15. Why not? Plus 15 hand axe. Sup, dude? Nice robes, nerd. Yeah, that's nice, sir. I don't care. Um, I fought them a million times, I know exactly what they do. <laughs> they have life drain. I couldn't tell. I've never fought them before in my whole life. Um,. But yeah, if you kill him, you instantly get the key. It's a really fun little thing you can do. Um, this place is ass to try and actually get all the items in. Take that, why not? I want to go... I'm trying to think of the best route that I can think of. Because I normally don't do Titanite Path, which is what I call this. Um, 
So first things first, I haven't seen this cutscene in a hundred years. You're telling me everybody in New Londo didn't know how to swim, by the way. I'd also like to point that out. Um... Is it this? I don't remember how I get there from this area. I'm so used to doing it the old... Actually, let's see how bad this is. Hey, nerd. Oh, that's pretty miserable, dude. Oh, Jesus. They do so much damage. These are some of the most dangerous enemies in the game. I'm not really good at parrying them either. I wholeheartedly admit it. Don't! Actually, yeah, I can't even kill four kings right now. I don't even have the item for it. Which is the... Ring of the Abyss, or Covenant of the Abyss, or whatever it's fucking called. Sup, nerd? Oh my god, that does a lot of damage to them. That's pretty cool. But they can also absolutely wombo combo me. So I guess I'll do this area then. Isn't there a dude right here? Where the fuck am I? <laughs> yeah, this is not an exact, like, science when it comes to, like, baiting out the AI. They're really easy to do. Uh, I'm not used to going in this direction, that's why. I'm like, ah, this is all different and weird. But yeah, we'll pick up all the shinies, all the loots, don't worry. I just gotta get my items set up first, and then we can do it. I haven't done it in a long fucking time. Okay, there's like two dudes in here, I know that much. There's the fucking mummy returns in here as well. This is just standard ass fucking... I don't like this guy. Alright, cool, thanks. Can't use Estus. Use Estus, your scrub. By the way, this is just Fireball. I haven't even mentioned this yet. Uh, let's see how bad this is. 300 damage. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a lot. Those are big numbers right there, buddy. How much is your fizz resistance? Probably better to use this. These are my favorite enemy in the game, too. I'm not even exaggerating. They're fucking cool. They're creepy and cool. Alright. Did they drop something? I don't remember. No. They just dropped souls. Okay. It's been so long since I've actually fought these guys. Well, I... Well, I never. So, Dark Raids are super easy to bait out if you know how to actually parry. I could probably do it. Let me give it a try. They do take extra damage if you parry, uh, by the way. It's a little quirk of the game. I'll try it again, successfully though. Never say I don't know how to parry every single fucking enemy. It's unbelievable how actually knowledgeable I am when it comes to the first Souls game. I'm pretty knowledgeable about Dark Souls 2, but 3 is the one I have the least experience with. So, yeah, these guys die like a bitch, but they do drop chunks, which is what makes them very, very useful if you want to farm this area. So this is where you get the very large ember, which, I'm just going to spoil it, it's pretty big. Uh, it's a big deal. And I'll pick up all these little souls. Too. It feels so weird to, like, play this game normally to me. It's such a... I just don't do this. You know what I mean? It's so... liberating to play the game like a normal human being. So... Uh... This is where the very large ember's at. It's got the best bar. Okay, this will let you get ascension up to plus 15s. This won't kill me, I'm pretty sure. I was like, did I just die? Okay, that fucking was a little scary. I figured there's a ghost that's over there somewhere. And I'll kill these guys for some extra guaranteed chunks, because we should be at the point where we can start doing chunks. Right? 
Is this just two? Yeah, two fucking standard-ass fireballs. I'd like to point that out. If you don't think that Pyromancy was busted in Dark Souls 1, it was pretty, pretty jank. You could be like, well, it's because you're using the game's mechanics and beating the enemies in a way that is totally fair and valid. And I don't know how to parry them either. I, I don't know any of the parry timing on these enemies. I don't believe there'd be this many people in one spot. I really don't. Call me that guy, but uh, I don't think so, Tim. I think there's only two more? So there's a guaranteed chunk. I know where that's at. Do I? Nope, no more fire orb for me. That's just too many. You've had your fill, Phil. Um, I could probably full clear this area, but it's not really fun with uh, these kinds of stats. I'd rather go in here with a lot of decks because of the faster cast rate, but it's fine. Oh, what a bunch of cheese. I didn't think that was going to work, honestly. Come on, buddy. Let's do a parry thing. Ow. Ow. That attack, I'm not good at parrying. Hey, Skeletor. How's it going? Oh, fuck. You talk shit, but I can still parry these guys like it's nobody's business if I get enough practice in. Oh, I do have one humanity, so that might be why I got chunks earlier. They can drop slabs, it's just really rare. I've had it happen a few times, but that's the cheesy cheese way to get the, the slab. Uh, there's a soul pickup over yonder, right? Ha ha ha! That's so sweet. He knows everything about this game. But that also aggroes this guy. And that's really annoying. This is always a part in the game I think I'm going to screw up. But it doesn't really matter. Hey, buddy. They can also vomit on you, and it's really annoying. I was like, did I kill the fucking dudes? I didn't think so. Alright, fuck this room. Like, with all of your body. Let's, let's not. Let's just not do that. I don't want to get killed. You can be like, oh! Uh, uh. You're cheating. Mm-hmm. And, uh, Bob's your uncle, right? Let's see if I can parry this guy, at least. No. Alright, nah. When there's two of them involved, it's a little bit more bullshit to try and parry them. I don't think they can get down here, though. Oh. Well. Shucks, fellas. I'll deal with you guys later when I can actually kill you efficiently. Okay. So, we'll just do Sith, I guess. Yeah, that, that makes more sense. We'll do Sith. I normally don't do this in this exact way. I normally kill Andre because you can save 20k souls. Because in a speedrun, you're not going to fucking go back here. That's all there is to it. Unless you want to keep playing after the speedrun. But still. Here you go. Cool. Uh, it's modify to 11. Take it to a fucking gay bar. There we go. I need two more chunkies, and then we'll go ahead and get the crest. Oi. What are you off to? None of your goddamn business, Andre. Mind your fucking manners. All right, so that's done. By the way, grinding a catch pull sucks. That sentence without context, weird. Okay. Now I might be like, but Seth, you haven't really been using pyromancy for being a pyromancer, man. Well, not yet. Not just yet. You need a lot of items to get a pyromancer all the way up to just... You know, I always hate to say this, but I do feel like, to me, Dark Souls is when you're playing New Game Plus. 
but that's just me. Could be the bad guy in me that thinks that the game's a little easy after having speed ran it for many moons. My casting frames are terrible, and now people are doing the... It's the 3rd of July, better cast fireworks off. It's a great idea. Yeah, that's right. Fitting, isn't it? 4th of July and fireworks and fire in the Souls game. <laughs> I couldn't have planned this any better, right? Totally. Um, but still, it's a pretty... It takes a lot like to get all the way up there with the uh, pyromancer stuff. But if you're like, oh, you're using melee. Ugh. I have, I'll, oh my god, I'm having a stroke. One, two, three, four souls I'd like to point out, by the way, while we're at it. Did you know if you stand on this little corner right here, you can soul farm? You know, the people that do that are cringe. Just like to point that out. Um, if you do PvP in the forest, you're scum. That part's true. <laughs> I'll actually admit that. Okay, so supposedly that's supposed to make the thing de-aggro everything, but whatever. Sometimes it doesn't work. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get the stoner armor. This is pretty good shit, by the way, I like to point out. One of the best sets in the game. It's better than Havel's by just about every stretch of the imagination. I'm not even exaggerating. It is genuinely better than Havel's. So much so... That it has a fucking... I was like, God, they're so loud with their mushy feet. Uh, so much so that the DLC actually has uh, a reskin of it. So that's how you know it's better than Havel's, because Havel's didn't get a reskin. But it did get fan service uh, in Dark Souls 3 and 2. Which, if I remember correctly, getting Havel's in 2 was just yucky. It was like the worst shit ever. Ugh. I don't want to think about that. It's really gross. Alright, so this is everyone's favorite fight because furries like stuff like this. I personally don't give a shit, unfortunately. Even though it is pretty cool. I don't think Artorius' sword was that big. Oh, well, we did the thing that furries like, where they if. Okay. So I used to have so much fucking issue with Sif way back in the day. This was a boss that absolutely beat the shit out of me. This was a boss I also took on way too fucking early in the game. Which is another reason why it holds a special place in my heart. I learned this boss by attrition. Which is why I like it so much. Even though I just talk shit about it, right? Ooh, that was a bad roll. That was a bit yucky. I've essentially learned this boss to the T just by fucking virtue of getting killed a thousand times. Oh, Jesus. By getting killed like a thousand times on it. Okay, buddy. Alright, buddy. Alright, buddy. Buddy old pal. That's right, I don't need fucking lock on to use pyromancy. Yeah, I probably should. This is also the fight that taught me how to heal properly, too. This is something I always can't stress enough. If you play this game long enough, you do learn how to actually do stuff without using crutch tactics. Because sometimes that is a lot easier when you don't do those crutch tactics. Like, lock-on isn't a crutch tactic, it's part of the game. So... Alright. We, we hit his kneecaps a thousand times. Not that bad. Promises. Okay. So that takes care of Sif. He's an absolute bitch to go down. He's not that bad. I've always liked Sif as a fight. I like Artorius a little bit better, though. Alright, so we're gonna go to Firelink Shrine. And I think we should have enough souls by now to get the... Plus 15 glove? which is going to just break the game even further. <laughs> I always say, no, you're not going to go anywhere. Don't say it. And... Oh! 25k. Then we can get the plus 15. I think...
think I should have enough. I don't think I do. It's looking like I won't. It's looking pretty grim. Just barely. Just barely enough souls. All right. There we go. Plus 15 regular glove. Done. Might as well get combustion since I... I don't really need anything else from that. And I might as well attune it. I have the slots for it for a reason. Okay, we'll get that attuned. So combustion, if you've never seen it, basically a melee attack. Uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty cheesy if you know what you're doing. I, I hate saying if you know what you're doing, but it's really true. <laughs> Do I have any more? Uh, I probably can get one more level. Might be enough. Yeah! There we go. Get some endurance. So normally people would be like level 100, by the way. I'm level, like, what, 40? What is it? 38. Okay. We're not supposed to be this low of a level, like, at all. So, that's fine. This is why I say Pyromancer breaks the game. You can be like, well, you've been using this hand axe that's also really low stats, by the way. Um, I could technically try doing four kings. Nah, we'll do four kings after demon ruins. That's probably a little bit safer in my mind. Because we'll also have a lot more stuff going into there. So, you do get a free one-shot, basically, at... Four kings if you go down from New Londo Ruins and then you drain it and then you go down. But it's all good. I ain't gonna whine too much. If you haven't noticed, we haven't used any summons. I was gonna use Beatrice earlier because she makes Moonlight Butterfly a lot faster, but I really don't summon. I don't think that's bad to do it if you str actually the people that say, oh fucking summoning ruins the game, it's, it's why then why is there a covenant dedicated to summoning in the game? Why? What, what's all that about then, huh? If it's uh, not intended to be part of the game, why is there an entire game's covenant that uses it, hmm? 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 <laughs> I just want to get power within, damn it, but I don't want to get it right now. It's too much of a pain in the ass. You have to go the proper way through Blight Town to get power within. It's one of the most busted spells in any Souls game ever. And it's what I've always used on, like, high-level characters as well. Because it's so fucking busted. Um, but now that we have a plus 15 glove, we can actually engage with Quelana. And she can start ascending our pyro glove. I don't think... I think I don't have enough souls to do that, but I'll try it. Why not? Also, another reason why Goldhem is the top tierest armor ever. Poison res, man. Yeah, Solomon, cool. Yes, but are you Can you no love. Go away. Thank you. I was expecting you. Does she do it from No, oh, you need 25k. Never mind. All right. No luck. Hmm. 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 No luck. Hmm. Oi. So this is also where if you were doing soul level 1, you dump all your excess souls into your pyro glove as well. But since I'm doing this a little bit slower, it's a little bit different. So, Demon Ruins is interesting. Can I actually go talk to the spider mute lady? Can I do that? I don't remember if you talk to Engi one time, if he'll let you do it again. I don't remember. It's literally been that long. But, uh... No, I, I usually do Demon Ruins after I do Sif Setup. Because it's usually... At this point in the game, I have enough damage. Because, ultimately, you only need enough damage to kill... The Centipede Demon. And... Can I please... Yes! Oomph! So, this is a good way to get a free spell. Technically, this is the best guild to... guild? Covenant to be in if you want to be a Pyromancer. So, I'm gonna join it. Cool.
cool. Alright. Great Chaos Fireball. Thanks, Mom. Alright, and we get to keep this area. I'll take this. Um, is it? No, it's two slots. I know better. Uh, oh, man. I'm so sorry for all the fucking fireworks in the background. I can't control that. I could by calling the police, but that's kind of a shit thing to do. Um, do I really want combustion? I don't remember how much combustion does. That's the main thing. But by the end of Demon Ruins, we should have a plus five Ascending Glove, Greater Fire Orb, and a couple other goodies. Hopefully. That's the idea, right? So I guess I'll just call it here. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Well, what is it?